Welcome to this tutorial. Today I make a review of an AI node that you can use in BuildBox. The node was made by Seven Studio and with this node you can set enemies to chase a character or any other target. And it comes with many different features. You can use it in 2D and 3D games. And now I show you how it works. When BuildBox is ready, we have all the last projects we used on the left side here in the list. And as well the AI node, I have it there. But when we use it for the first time, we click on open project and choose the AI node. And when the node is ready, then we click on the 2D world node. And this is how it looks. This is only basically now, but you can do a lot of cool things with this AI node. This is the character named Actor. And this is the enemy. And this is a point. And the enemy have a bullet. I show you now in the preview mode. Here we can control the character and you can see the enemy is following the character. When we move around, the enemy moves around and tries to shoot the character. But now the character can't die from the bullets. There we have to change this. Now I kill the character when collides with the enemy. And then we go to the character node. And here we have the if collide node and this node has affected a set enemy that kills the character. And now we duplicate this node. We don't have to change nothing from the connections here, only the affected a set we change into bullet. Now I show you in the preview mode. Now let's move around and yeah, that works pretty cool. The bullet kills the character. And now we can duplicate the enemy a few times. Select and D for duplicate. Move around and this enemy we can scale a little bit down. And duplicate one more time. And one last time. Let's give it a try. And look there. Yeah. <laughs> look, that looks pretty cool. When we move around, all the enemies are following the character or try to shoot the character.
really cool. And with these basics we can make very cool games. Now we go to the enemy node. And now I show you how to change the shooting action. We have the spawning action. And it is connected with a timer. And as higher the number in the timer, as less times the shooting animation is shooting. And as lower it is, as much higher the animation is shooting, the action. Now, let's give it a try. 0 0.9. And look there. There is something. <laughs> and yeah, kills me. Now let's change it into 0 0.1. Yeah, very dangerous. Now it is very quick. And now I show you how it looks when the enemy is chasing the character. I already changed the build box file. Now we go to the 2D mode and now we use images for the character, enemy and as a background. Character and enemy are animated. And the character, maybe you already know him, I use him in one of my games. Heroes in the Jungle is a very cool game and you can find the link in the video description. Controls, you can go to the left, right, up and down. And here we go. Now we can see the enemy is chasing the character. And this is a very cool enemy, a zombie in an American football look. <laughs> now we can see when the enemy coming closer to the character, then the enemy attacks the character. Look there. This is exactly what we want with this node in this game. And now we can duplicate the enemy, select and D, and then place him around here. and duplicate him one more time and yeah and here we go and have a look this is very cool Look, the zombie on the left side is uh, changing the direction. They can't kill the character now, but uh, you can change this. That works pretty cool. You can use this node in many different kind of games. There is no limit. And the AI node includes a detailed description and it is developed by 7studio. The link you can find in the video description. In my upcoming tutorials I will show you much more about how to use animations in Buildbox. I'm a motion graphic designer and I do that every day. 
so you can be sure that I will show you a lot of cool tutorials about animations. And also I will work with this AI node in my upcoming projects. If you found this tutorial was helpful, give a like and if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.